Hey guys and welcome back to this month's monthly free assets on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Once again we've got access to 5 amazing assets free for this month only and that is the Low Poly Viking World, the Sicker Mansion, the Blink and Dash VFX, the Advanced Photo Mode and the Creating Portal to Another Reality. So without further ado let's just get right into it starting with the Low Poly Viking World. So this is a massive pack of Viking environments and art assets to create both interior and exterior game environments. This pack allows you to create Viking towns, villages, markets, libraries, taverns, house interiors and much much more. There's over a thousand detailed models in this pack. The house has 93 models, the modular house has 123, props 558, vegetation and rocks 129, weapons 102, particle systems 20, and miscellaneous 19. Miscellaneous includes stuff like birds, clouds, waters and mountains. So some features of this are there is a massive map in both day, night and winter. There's different environments for towns, villages, markets, taverns and house interiors. There's a fully modular house with interiors. The birds are rigged and have flying animations. There's vertex wind animation materials for the bird, flag, cloth, trees, grass, plants, flowers and more. The material and texture color variations, the shared alternate materials to create more color options, blueprints for rope spline, door, chimney, torch, lamp, and fire pits, and more, a variety of many props to choose from, tileable materials for low poly style, and a landscape ground textures. In total, there's 1044 unique meshes, all of which have both custom and automatically generated collision. However, there are no LODs. There's 28 materials and 166 material instances, including color variations, with 84 textures, and the text resolutions being 512 by 512, 1K, and 2K. So I think this one looks absolutely amazing. There is a ton of stuff in this pack, and again, some of it is modular, which means you can fully create what you want and how you want for a low poly Viking environment within your game. So again, I think this looks absolutely fantastic. This is free for this month only. Normally it's about £145 and the supported engine versions on this are 4.22 to 4.27 and 5 to 5.1. Next up it is Sicker Mansion. So this is a full Victorian mansion environment with nearly 200 props, character systems and a drag and drop inspect object system. So the technical details of this are there are 206 unique meshes, all of which have collision. There are 6 blueprint classes, 2 particle emitters and 2 particle systems, 2 sounds, two levels and three animations. There are also no LODs on any of the meshes as well. There are 10 materials and 70 material instances and 179 textures with the text resolutions being 2K and 4K. So an important note on this is this is optimized for mid to high end setups with an average of 60 to 120 FPS on epic settings and no LODs in mid range 1080p. So there's high detail props, atmospheric fog volume material, hybrid lighting of stationary and static, so some of it is baked, there's dust and fire Niagara particle systems, modular mansion walls, floors and carving, so again you can create what you want with this pack, it's modular, there's a mesh outline system, a drag and drop object inspect blueprint, there is tons and tons on here, so you're getting models, you're getting blueprint systems, you're getting VFX, you're getting a lot in this. Again this is free for this month only, but normally about £67. Supported engine versions of this are 4.25 to 4.27 and 5 to 5.1. Next up we have Blink and Dash VFX. So this is a Blink and Dash mesh based FX. So this features 10 unique Blink and Dash mesh based effects, 6 dash and 4 blink effects. Dash FX uses mesh for the trails and curves, not the Niagara ribbon, and it will not follow the character while moving. The set distance for the dash is 1000 unreal units. This is made by using Niagara, and the asset contains the blueprint macro example of blinking slash dashing with camera FOV changing. So there are 10 unique effects in this, 59 materials and 58 textures, with 11 unique meshes. The texture resolutions are 512 by 512 and 2K. Some additional notes are all the emitters are in the local space. The character, animation and floor material from the demonstration scene are not included. So this one looks really really good once again free for this month but normally £25 and the supported engine versions for this are 4.25 to 4.27 and 5 to 5.1. Next up we have the advanced photo mode. 
so this allows you to capture and immortalize your game's best moments with a photo mode and gallery photo viewer. This is 100% blueprints with keyboard and mouse and gamepad support. So photo mode in a game is a feature that allows players to capture and customize screenshots of their gameplay experiences. By allowing players to pause the game and manipulate the camera angle, depth of field, filters and other settings, photo mode offers an opportunity for players to share and celebrate their favorite moments in a game with their friends, family and online communities. So I'm sure you've seen photo modes in loads of games and they're always really really cool and really good to use. So this pack allows you to make one in your own game as well. So some other details of this are it has keyboard and mouse and gamepad support. So there's three camera modes, that being the player's camera and free camera, the player's camera only and free camera only. You can choose a maximum distance between the player and the free camera or leave the camera free without any distance limits. There's also a first person support. You can choose the keys and buttons and icons for all actions. You can hide the UI and you can easily change the menu icons so the keys and other icons. The number of blueprints in this are there's one BP component, four BP actors, one BP interface and one save game BP. There's nine widgets, one data table, six enumerations, eight structures, one font, 13 simple LUTs, 17 materials, 80 textures and one demo folder containing the third person template including one map. So as you can see in the video on screen now, this looks absolutely fantastic. So this would be great to use in your games, but I can also imagine you using this as a developer to create some really nice high quality screenshots for your game to post on Steam, Itch.io or wherever. You can obviously use the high resolution screenshot in Unreal and then take it to Photoshop to edit it for example, but this just allows you to do it all in one place and it just allows you to do it a lot easier while playing the game at runtime as well. So I can imagine this being perfect for both using in-game and for you to use to take some nice screenshots to promote your game. So this one looks absolutely fantastic. Normally about 15 pounds, supported engine versions being 4.25 to 4.27 and 5 to 5.1. And finally, last but not least, we have creating portal to another reality. So this asset allows you to easily create portals to worlds that will be slightly different from the original worlds. And this one looks absolutely fantastic, it's very very clever. So this asset works best to create worlds that differ in minor details and or materials from the original worlds. It's important to understand that the character and objects do not teleport, they only change some of their properties such as visibility, collision, material and more. The principle of work is based on the function of the material not on render target with its scene capture, the result is good optimization with perfect quality. You can create an unlimited number of portals that connect to the same worlds, or each portal will create its own world. So as you can tell by me saying all this, and as you can see on the video now, this could be quite complex and difficult for you to set up and to understand. So luckily they do have their own documentation and videos which you can look at and read up on, on how to best set this up and use it in your own games. So I definitely recommend reading their documentation on how to do all this. So examples of use are various puzzles, a division of the world into two parts, for example the real world and the world in the past slash future. In the demo it is just white and green world just to best show it off as that makes it a lot easier to understand. And you can also use it for various abstract things like the non-Euclidean world. Obviously those are just examples, you can use this however you want. So blueprint wise there's three basic ones and seven demonstration child BPs. There's two material functions, three material parameter collections and one basic material and many varieties of it for demonstrations. There's also one interface. This is not network replicated, however multiplayer is supported in another asset that they've linked on here. It has fewer portal functions, but it has its own unique features. So it's just slightly different, but it also works online though. So like I say, this one looks absolutely fantastic. Normally it's about 14 pounds, but obviously free for this month. And the supported engine versions are 4.18 to 4.27, and 5 to 5.1. So I think that'll be it for this month covering the monthly free assets for May 2023. I think my favorite one this time around is probably creating portals to another reality or the advanced photo mode. But this month we've had access to some great ones. I really liked all of them. So let me know in the comments down below which one your favorite one was this month. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.